wait, wait, wait. Look, don't fast forward and get right to the meat and potatoes, right? If you're looking for a healthier option on your lasagna, today we're gonna make it out of turkey. Hey, hands down, this is it right here. Let's get it. Okay, so look, now look, this is what I wanna do. I wanna go over these ingredients, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm gonna start with uh, my marinara sauce, right? What I did was I made it, I kinda like canned it, put it in jars, you know, and I save it. Cause when I make a batch of it, I make enough where I can get myself, you know, about eight jars out of it, right? So if you look over here, we got other ingredients. This is cool, look, and like I said in the beginning, look, we are doing it out of turkey, right? This is just a little bit of a healthier option, you know, instead of always using like red meat. Right, so it's super simple. And if we come back here to the sauce, listen, you guys can use any jar sauce you like, but for this particular one, since it's already been pre-made, look, I do have a video out. It'll be up in the, I guess this corner up here. Just click on that link and that'll show you just how to make it super easy, big on flavor. And guess what, folks, you made it. Okay, so look, the first step is, look, I'm putting some heat underneath my pan, right? So I'm gonna hit it with some olive oil, right? Just give it a little bit, you know, cause we are using turkey. It's not, doesn't have all that fat content. This is just something to help it, you know, brown, things of that nature, keep it from sticking, stuff like that, right? So as this builds up, that's it going on, then we're just gonna go ahead and put the turkey in. Now, I want you to take a look at this part right here. If you pay attention to this, over here, I put my sauce over here, right? Look, it's nice and hot and I set it off to the side. Once I finish browning, we're gonna take that and we're gonna add that to the pot. And now you got it, folks. We starting to make our sauce and it's gonna be a little bit meaty. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in. This is like one pound. Now look, the recipe always calls for one pound, right? You know anything I do and you guys gotta know that I'm a meat man, right? So when I tell you I'm a meat lover, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. That's why you guys saw that I had two pounds out. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, maybe like about a third third of a pound more. This is optional, this is for myself. Okay, so look, you guys can see, I usually take it down about right here. It's almost really all the way cooked. You know what I mean? This is when I like to season mine anyway. And if you guys take a look, I'm gonna be using my Level Up series. Look, this is the A seasoning. This is for like a lighter meat, right? Goes great with turkey. You're talking about waking something up. So when you season, folks, you gotta really season. You know what I mean? You guys can just use salt, pepper. You know what I mean? If you would like, you can use some garlic. Uh, I say use some garlic powder, you know, stuff like that. I stay, I tend to use the powders more than the salt, the salt you know, cause I'm watching my sodium. You know what I mean? And again, this right here, I probably hadn't said it enough. Listen, this is low in sodium, folks. So if you got you watching your hypertension and all of that, or you trying to avoid not getting it, listen, this is what you want to have. Now, as I'm doing this right here, I'm getting ready to turn this off because I don't want to overcook it. It's still going to cook a little bit in the sauce, right? But I can see my seasoning. This right here is key. You see this right here? You got to know if everything is seasoned properly, right? And I'm going to come with a little pepper too. And when I come with the pepper, when I say pepper, I mean like, man, I probably put like three tablespoons in here. But the main thing is when you're cooking with turkey, while a lot of people don't really, you know, like gravitate towards it, it's because they don't ever season it properly. So once you got it seasoned properly, I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so if you guys come on and take a look at this meat right here, look, this is properly seasoned. And the, the, you don't need to be here to taste it or nothing like that. You know the color of the uh, turkey when you saw it. Now take a look at it right there. Hey, you know my signature saying, that's fire. That's seasoned right, folks. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off. Now, what I wanna do is, I wanna get all of my ground turkey you know, in my sauce. Look at this right here. I want it all. Any bit, anything that, that was left in there, it doesn't really render a whole lot of fat. You know what I mean? Cause you know, the turkey bird, it's, it's on the lean side. But this is what I like right here. I like mine to be meaty. You guys do it the way you want to. I suggest you guys just start with a pound and then work your way up each time you make it. The rest of it is self-explanatory, right? There's no need for me to try to make it like that. You know what I mean? The whole purpose of my channel is just to show you guys how to simplify these recipes. And I gotta do a recap. I want you guys to pay attention to this right here. This is real important. This right here, making lasagna is like super easy. It's all in the seasoning. And you know, I guess whatever type of meat you do. But I don't care whatever type of meat you put in here. You know what I mean? For whatever you want it to be, whatever version, listen, it's got to be seasoned good. But I want you guys to look at that right there. When I tell you I like mine meaty, that's what I'm talking about right there. That right there is fire, folks. Hmm, I can't say enough. Now, look, to recap, 
when I recap it, I'm gonna tell you like this. Don't forget, this is why I tell you guys, you know, follow some of these recipes, right? Like I got the marinara sauce, look, it renders a lot. All you gotta do is put it in jars, put it in, you know, put it up, it'll last you a few weeks, right? I put a couple in the refrigerator, you know what I mean? Cause I knew I was getting ready to get down with this. So all I did was heat it up. Now, if you don't have that, don't forget, you guys can use any of the jar sauces that they have in the grocery store. Uh, hey, I'm gonna give them a plug cause I love ragu. I like the meaty traditional, you know, like the spaghetti sauce type, you know, uh, sauces, those things like that. But you can go marinara, spaghetti sauce to me, you ask me, they're all the same. It's just got a different uh, flavor profile. Okay, so look, now we finna like, look, it's starting to narrow down and we getting ready to do the assembly, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this right into a bowl make sure you guys get yourself a bowl that's big enough right we're going to add all of our parm right now when it comes to the mozzarella i'm going to use about three quarters of the cup right three quarters of what we shredded so eh, that's good i still got some inside look you can't never really put too much cheese in it right that's good we'll use this in one second but right now we're going to go ahead and get in here with this whisk you know, and just start moving this around, getting this to, you know, gel and marry together. Hey, and before you guys ask, that's right, you don't see no egg. Look, I got all of this incorporated. I like it, you know what I mean? So everything seems to be well. Now look, we are gonna go ahead and give it one more mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my seasoning right here, which is my oregano and that's my parsley. So look, one of the things I hadn't talked about like throughout the whole video, cause listen, it's kind of like obvious, right? We making lasagna, right? So we gotta have lasagna noodles. Listen, I cook these per the instructions on the box. You guys do the same. Look, and these came out of al dente. I'ma pull them up like this. I just had these sitting off in the back. You know what I mean? Cause I had made these already. You guys use a nonstick spray, however you wanna do it. But I'ma take it, I'ma just spray it here. You wanna get yourself a ladle, spoon or whatever. You guys will see how it's coming. Look, ladle. I just put a little bit of this down here on the bottom. I know I got it meaty, folks, but this is how I do it. Then I use the bottom of the ladle just to go ahead and get me a, you know, to use this to push this around, right? You just want to get it and completely coat the bottom. And now for the moment I've been waiting on, look, it's time to do an assembly. Now check this out. You can look at the shape of this. If you're using a 13 by nine, it'd probably come more rectangle and squares. I'm gonna say square-ish in the ends, right? But this is gonna be a little different. You know what I mean? Cause we got it like that. I'ma just show you a little trick that I use. Just get yourself a butter knife. You know I mean? Leave it over there in the corner. And if you take it like this, look, you can just trace it around the bottom. And look at this right here. Voila. This gets you them custom, you know, fits. You know what I mean? We just take it, right? Remember it's al dente, so it's nice and soft and ready to be cut. We just put that down here. Cause that's more square. We come over here to the end. Let me turn this so you guys can see it. Right, and then we just do the same thing. Okay, so once we got the bottom done, right? Look, you wanna go ahead. This part you wanna be, you gotta be strategic with it. And don't forget, we are not gonna have 40 different layers. It only makes so much, right? So just you guys get a chance to see what I'm doing. I just usually put out four big ones like this. I use the back end of my spoon and I just kinda like push it out you know, towards the edges and just try to build one even layer. You know what I mean? Just like you see, this might take a little bit more. Some of these wasn't as big as I would have liked, to, liked for them to be. You know what I mean? So we'll just get them like this. And all we do now is we just cover, right? You don't want to make it flat. You want to build a layer. You can hear it in my voice. Listen, cause I know what the end result is going to be. And right now, if I don't want to use the word fire, I don't have another word to substitute it with. Now you guys got it. Remember, we put a little sauce on the bottom. We came with the noodle. Then we come with, I'm just going to call it the cheese sauce, right? It, I just, you know, just for the sake of argument. But we put that layer down. Now, check this part out. This is when it starts becoming fun. Look at the colors, right? So now we just add this layer. Oh, my goodness, folks. Remember, I told you I like mine meaty. Now you guys do whatever you want to do. You do it on your ear. I just want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Did you know that making lasagna was this easy? Most people didn't make it. Once you make it one time, this becomes part of your rotation. If you like spaghetti, you damn sure gonna like this one. Real simple, folks. We finna just go ahead and repeat the process. We just gonna do that for this second layer. They're gonna be the same. And then it's only gonna end up being three layers, right? So just wanna let you know, I'm not gonna bore you guys. We just take our time, put this off to the side and just keep building it up from there.
Okay, so look, we got them two layers done, right? This one right here, this will be your third and final layer, right? You just want to go ahead and get your sauce. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put two scoops on here because look, we're getting towards the top. You want to just push it over here. And I don't want to have a thick layer. You know what I mean? You, I just want to keep it as thin as I can right here. You know why? Because we're going to put another layer of noodle and then we're going to top it with that cheese. You know, remember we held back some cheese? That's going to be it right there. You see, I put that last layer of noodle on the top, right? Now I'm just going to probably use one scoop. Check it out. Right? One scoop, and we're going to put a thin layer just here, just like this. It's okay if it doesn't get everywhere. You don't get complete coverage. If you see some noodle, that's fine, but you want to make it work. Right? Now, remember we held back a little bit of that cheese? Check it out, folks. It's going to make sense to you now. Mmm. -hmm. Now don't do like me. When I make it, I'm always trying to add all of this cheese on top and all of that. Listen, the whole thing is we got the sauce in the in the middle on all of those different layers, right? So it's gonna be cheesy. You know what I mean? You just don't wanna like just overdo it. Uh, a lot of us, we tend to just like do that thinking more cheese is better. So I just put this over the top like this and I just cover it. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna do no, no, no tight tuck or nothing like that. It's okay if it has a little dome on it. This okay is fine. We just want to put that on there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside and I'm gonna set myself a timer. Don't forget, we had 375 degrees, folks. Right? Put this up like that. Now we're gonna go to the time. We're gonna set this for about 45 minutes. Boom. What I did was this time, cause look, I done made lasagna a couple times on my channel, right? What I did was I let it cool a little bit. Like listen, that's a uh, tip for all you guys out there. Let it cool because it's such a hot, cheesy, you know, like, like, I don't know, it's just like a lot of layers. So if you cut it before that and then serve it, it's not gonna look the best. But if you wanted to keep its form, see the layers and all of that, you wanna let it cool. Hey, with that being said, check it out. I'm finna get me some of this. Now I save a little bit inside of my plate. Look, I just wanna show you. Look at this right here. Ooh, wee. Look, mm, mm, mm. I don't know what to say, but cheers, folks. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to do it to y'all or the people behind the camera. Listen, this right here is just what you want. And then I want to say something. If you guys think you could taste the difference between, you know, the turkey and the ground beef, you know what, I would love for you to come on here, you know what I mean, we could season together, and then after I get through, I bet you couldn't tell which one is which. And you know what, turkey is just a little bit, it's a leaner meat and it's a little bit healthier for you. Hey, with that being said, look, this is fire. Listen, this right here was the level up, you know what I mean? Again, if you don't have that, just look at the uh, description box below. You'll go ahead and take full recipe and all of that. I really don't know what to say or how to do it. Just trust me, folks, I'm ready to eat. And they finna knock this off anyway. Hey, so with that being said, let me just take this time to say, Hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen to this. It's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, you know how I do it. I'm out. Peace.